families looking for summertime fun don't have to spend a lot of money to get out of town. San Diego offers 70 miles of coastline. The three-mile stretch between Pacific and Mission Beaches is the most popular, where you can explore the boardwalk by foot or on two wheels. We start up in Mission Bay, got 20 miles of bike paths. And if biking isn't your thing, Coronado Beach on Coronado Island is set against the backdrop of the iconic Hotel Del Coronado, the Hotel Del as it's called. Here you can swim, sunbathe, or skimboard. And there's plenty of amenities like picnic tables and public restrooms. Nature lovers will love the tide pools at the Cabrillo National Monument. When I was a kid, my parents used to take me down to the tide pools. You see starfish and shellfish, little fish um, in the little pools down there. It's a lot of fun. And if you've been just north of the city to La Jolla, you've probably heard <laughs> of the famous seals who call it home. You can see the seals there in Children's Pool. That is a great photo op. And while you're there, catch the underwater sea life snorkeling in La Jolla Cove. It's the first underwater park in, on the West Coast, and the waters are super clear. You can see lobsters scurrying across the bottom. If four-legged friends are more your thing, plan your trip just in time to see America's top dogs compete for the best surf dog. More than 60 dogs enter the Imperial Beach Surf Dog Competition, which raises money for the Humane Society. It's down Imperial Beach. It's on July 28th, so it's coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's the cutest thing on earth that you've ever seen. Catch the sunset and stick around for a bonfire. You don't need a permit, and the city has designated fire pits ready for you at several of the beaches. Just bring your own uh, wood or pa pallets or whatever. Uh, cook s'mores on the beach. It's a great way to end the day. When you come to San Diego, you, of course, want to hit the beach. But you can't forget the culture. Balboa Park is full of surprises. People don't realize there's like 15 different museums there. You've got the botanic gardens. You could do some nature walks through there. The San Diego Zoo is located there. Walk through Little Italy, a lot of a great, uh, great shops, and there's some uh, top chef restaurants. It's really the hot neighborhood downtown right now. Go across on the Embarcadero. There's this huge, beautiful waterfront park with great places for the children to play on the big uh, playgrounds and everything. So whether you're taking the family, going on a girl's trip, or making memories with your Arizona family, be sure to have an awesome time in San Diego and enjoy no triple digits. Ah, such a fun couple of days in San Diego when we went to shoot these stories. Another free thing you can uh -huh. do also at Liberty Station, uh -huh. uh, they have an outdoor movie series, so they oh, yeah. air movies out on the lawn. I, I, there's endless things that are yeah. new that you haven't seen, so be sure to just go to our website, easyfamily.com, or download our free mobile app. And you're going to do some of these yes. things now. You know one thing, too? We've gone to San Diego when the Diamondbacks were playing the Padres. Ooh, that was a lot yeah. of fun, too, if you can try to time it like that. So. And and can we admit that uh, there was a picture a moment ago with you guys all standing there? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. So we have to say that Gibby and Allie did all the work, right? <laughs> they totally did all the work. We just, like, smiled. And enjoyed. We just smiled and no, said, look at that. Pretend that's like not true. Working. You so next time week, yes, uh, let's yeah. talk about not working. Well, you're right. Javier and I went to uh, <laughs> Vegas. And so we're going to show you everything there is to do on and off the strip. Okay. I'm excited to see that because, again, things that we haven't seen before, Once right? Once again, Jessica and Arnold doing all the oh, work. Yeah. <laughs>